Well, for the players on both sides, this is their date with destiny, a chance to ensure their place in football history. It is, without doubt, Peter, the greatest show we have this summer. And the fact that this is like a celebratory edition too makes it that little bit more special, doesn't it? I've certainly enjoyed it, giving us a, a fair share of just about everything we've come to expect from a competition of this magnitude. And yes, let's hope that it gets the perfect send-off. And we're on the way. Look, we can only hope for a final that will be free-flowing and end-to-end -end and, and highly entertaining, but fear of defeat can often dominate emotions, so don't be surprised if it gets nervy intense. Well, needless to say, he was expecting a better ball than that. Chiesa. Chiesa is on to it and can take it up. And they've been given a corner. Baratti plays it short. Italy have opted to really stretch the game now. Yeah, that's pretty evident, but... What's their thinking? Um, I, it looks as if the opposition are happy to defend the width of the 18-yard box, trying to remove that compactness. Jorginho. Well, both sides have actually looked poor going forward. We've hardly seen anything meaningful yet. Cut out in the nick of time. Now it's Kane. And it's Sterling. Trippier. In by Trippier. Jorginho is there, and he can get that clear. Defending, albeit from an unexpected source. Well, they say that your front lads should be that first line of, um, of stopping the opposition, and I think he's taken it to another level with his desire to get back and, and help everyone out. Chiesa! A real chance if he can get through. Plays it out to the flank. Florenzi with the cross. Florenzi, Florenzi with the cross. Whistle's gone, that's uh, foul. Foden. Forward it goes. Kane on his flag offside. Donnarumma sends that a long way. Okay. Spinazzola gets into the right position to intercept. <laughs> Sterling tries to stroke it through. What a corner. it out of harm's way. Hoists it forward. Chiesa. And it's played forward. Belotti proving impossible to wrestle off the ball. Oh, well defended. That had to be done. Berati hits that low. This has gone. He's reached the halfway point of the final. So now the team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now. With it being a final, 
caginess is to be expected. Each obviously wants it badly, but neither wants to find themselves behind, and, and that's the issue now. Well, after 45 minutes, it is still goalless. A change, perhaps, after half-time. So we're already into the second period. England pretty fortunate not to be trailing at half-time. They've been lacklustre and, and second-best for me. And if ever a situation demanded a telling off from the boss, it's this one. He has to spark a reaction. Chiesa. Rice. England have a free kick. Well, the referee has made it pretty clear now that this is his last chance. He just needs to find the control button on his aggression before the ref does it for him, Peter. Uh, needed a better pass there. Rashford. Rashford has a look up from the right-hand side, seeking out options. Well, that's the first attempt, Peter, we've seen at one of those raking passes just to spread the play. Good idea, just poorly executed. Spinazzola. Jorginho. Very few chances to talk of, Jim. Defence is, it seems, on top here. Well, I think it's a, a fair reflection on what we've seen so far. Neither side has produced that many efforts at goal simply because respective defences have been strong. Chiesa goes for the cross. Rice. Kyle Walker. Forward. How does he try from here? Walker unable to make it happen for all his good intentions. And here's Immobile. Immobile! Well, no question as to who's winning the battle in midfield at the moment. Some very impressive pressing in place here. Foden drives it forward. And here's Insigne. Jorginho. Played out to the right. Can't get the better of his opposite number. Look, this can still go either way. It might be flowing one way, but there's still time for some ebb. Defence has got rid of that. Jorginho drives it forward. Looking cross-field, changing the point of attack. Into the last five minutes. Italy have to get it. It's Insignia! He's looking to get there first. You wonder if that's it now, but there may be one more opportunity, Peter, for a late, late steal here. And it's Rashford. Cuts it out. Jorginho goes looking. Looking for space out wide. Gets the better of his man. Sterling has a goal! In for the follow-up! Classic Kane brilliance! And surely that has won the day! He was so alert to the possibilities there. Great stuff. Our players like this fella almost have a sixth sense to get themselves in such great coaching positions. How quick-minded was that? England, and that's that, England celebrates, they are the continent's ultimate team, winners of the European Championship. What a moment this is for all connected with the team, 
It's a day for pride, a day for glory. Another grand chapter to be added to their glittering history.